the government has frozen the BBC licence fee at £159 for the next two years and is considering other ways to fund the corporation. The Culture Secretary, Nadine Dorries, has questioned whether the annual fee is appropriate in the age of streaming giants. Well, one thing's certain, change is definitely coming, but as this BBC advert from the 1980s shows, the corporation has used the unique way that it's always been funded to give us a wide variety of programming, which has generated, obviously, a vast quantity of iconic British TV stars. Let's have a quick look. Ah, oh, I hear you say, but that was then. That yeah, was before I we know. moved into what a multi... What has the BBC ever done since yeah. then? But, well, we now live in a multimedia universe, so the landscape has completely changed from when that was made. So the question that many are asking, including the government, is, is the BBC worth the money? Uh, joining us now is John Sweeney, who says absolutely. He's a former Newsnight and Panorama reporter who believes the BBC is the glue that holds Britain together. And political commentator Lynn May, who says that we should be scrapping the licence fee altogether. Well, let's start with you, then. What would you replace... How would you fund the BBC if you were to do that? Well, if the BBC is as great as everyone says it is, then it should be a subscription fee or it should be adverts, something of that nature. Um, I love the BBC. I think it's amazing, it's iconic. But I just don't think that we should be forced to the point of we could face prison if we don't pay for it. In um, 2019, 122,000 people were prosecuted and the convictions were over 114,000. Mm. And in 2016, 90 people went to prison. I just don't think mm. that is acceptable. John, the, I think the BBC is worth every penny. And, of course, I spent uh, a very long time, as you did, working for the BBC, and I'm very grateful to the BBC. Um, but whether you think it's worth the money is a separate argument, I think, as Lynn says, to being forced to pay that money. What do you think? Should it simply be uh, not a criminal offence, an option to pay the licence fee? <sighs> Good racehorses cost money. Uh, and the thing is that... OK, Sorry, you what, can... what... I didn't hear you. What cost money? Uh, Good, race... Good racehorses oh, right. uh, cost money. The thing is, this is important, the BBC, because, it, it's part, as I said, it's part of the glue that holds the United Kingdom together. Yeah. And it... I... I think all nationalism is, is wrong. English nationalism, Scottish nationalism, Welsh nationalism, Irish nationalism. It can go to a dark place, and I saw that happen in former Yugoslavia. The BBC is part of the thing that keeps the United Kingdom together as a country. Also, it's about us. It's about projecting our, our culture, our society, in a way that Hollywood would not do. Yes, as the Crown, Netflix is great, but it's from Hollywood. Hollywood is in another country. And if you switch off the BBC and you undermine each slightly weird, <coughs> excuse me, an old fashioned money, money tree, if you switch that off, if you kill that, then it won't be replaced by anything anything mm -hmm. like as British or interested in what yes, we, but we do. Yes, but we live in a, a culture of choice, don't we? And we pay for our choices. For example, if I want to watch Netflix, I'll pay for Netflix. If, and I do. And if I want to watch uh, Sky, I'll have a Sky subscription, <coughs> and I do. Um, t t t just to, to take your argument head on, why should I be paying for Radio 1 that I never listen to? Why should I be subsidising Radio 3, which I'll never listen to? I actually listen to Classic FM rather than Radio 3. I find Radio 3 too abstruse. There are all sorts of BBC functions and services which cost a lot of money that I'm paying for in my licence fee. Um, why should I? <clears throat> because it's in the same way that you pay your taxes, Richard. Because you don't say when you pay your taxes, I'm going to pay for that ship, but I'm not going to pay... No, but I elect a government. I elect a government. I elect a government to to spend my taxes, because, don't I? But but this is part. It's it, it's an, an anomaly, and it's it's a bit like defending a dinosaur. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, <clears throat> this dinosaur is good. The other thing is, why has this come up right now? Now, because is it possible that we're protecting big dog? That what's really happening here is the Conservative Party machine in trying to save the disgraced. 
Boris yeah, Johnson. Yeah, you're right, but that doesn't, that doesn't actually undermine this and, and discussion no, and so, having the argument. So, so what I'm saying is that if there are bits of the BBC that... Listen, I were there for 17 years. I could go on all day about how all the bad things Why can't are. Just take commercials? However, Why however, can't just take I think it is a noble thing and it is yeah. good for our country. It doesn't well, matter. You can preserve all of those. You could is... preserve all, all of those if you funded it differently. You could have exactly the arguments that you just put forward. So why <coughs> not just take commercials? So, 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 but, so well, but, but the, the moment. With council sorry. tax, sorry, with council tax, say for example, it's yeah. tangible. If I pay council tax, I expect to see my bins being collected. I expect the roads to be a certain way. To be forced to pay for TV licence when I potentially don't even watch a lot of the BBC or any at all, I'm, I could watch live TV in Mongolia. I'd still have to pay my TV licence. To me, that doesn't make any sense and it's not tangible. I agree. It's an amazing thing. It's a part of our... It underpins British television. It's one of the first, if not the first. Why should I have to face prosecution mm. if I don't pay it? What that you're hearing, John, from both uh, Richard and Lynn is, is really an argument for the privatisation mm. of the BBC. Mm. I mean, what Richard's saying, it's interesting, because I... You know, what comes to mind when you say, well, why should I pay for mm -hmm. uh, the BBC licence fee when I don't listen to Radio 1 or Radio 3? Um, you know, you pay for the NHS through your national insurance, even though you may never, you know, want IVF for instance, personally, or you may never no. need cancer treatment, or, yes. you know, there's plenty I, of I, I things elect, available on the NHS a, that you would never... But I elect a government on its agenda on how access. it's going to spend my tax money. Uh, I, I have a choice in that matter. I don't have a choice. It's a, it's a matter of criminality if I don't mm -hmm. pay my licence fee. Whereas I elect a government to spend money on my behalf on the NHS yeah. or anything else. Yeah, well... Or defence, or you name it. Your, <clears throat> the NHS will be funded whichever government you elect, I agree. It? But, but why can't... And there are services on the NHS you will never <laughs> access. Sorry, excuse us. We're just, we're just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no but no, the, no. The, the NHS is something that's massively <laughs> needed. It saves lives. We're talking about entertainment. The BBC is entertainment, well, the government does No, it's not just entertainment. What else it's is not, it? It's also... It gives you honest news. Uh, and news if, is and a form of entertainment. No, it's more than that. And it's Lynn, not that Lynn, impartial. No, well, no, 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 that is not true. No, you, you should spend more time in Russia. You should spend more time in Russia and then you see a closed society where actually uh, you don't go to prison, I think, if you, if you, mm. um, because there isn't a licence fee in, in Russia. But what there certainly is, there is political power where there is no scrutiny. John. And one of the things the BBC does is provide scrutiny to power. And I get worried when the government says, oh, let's, let's, let's kill this thing. Hmm. I know it's a dinosaur. I know that this crazy uh, financial model is like 100 well, years old. Well, they're not saying However... They're not saying kill the no, 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 They're no, saying no, but, we fund but, it differently. Yeah, so, but, all right. kill it. OK, the problem is that it has a lot of money and it does amazing things. John, can I just ask you it's distributed what is intrinsic, Very quickly, what is intrinsically uh, more noble and more representative of this country on the BBC, of the BBC News at 10 and ITV's News at 10? Why is BBC News at 10 intrinsically more valuable than ITV's News at 10? I don't I understand wasn't, that. Uh, I wasn't saying that. Actually, um, the news um, ITN has more scoops and it's better packages, I would say, but that's an internal argument with BBC management, which I'm very happy to have at any time. I agree however, with you. however, the BBC is a great big thing, and what it does is it projects our country, our values, our sense of fun, and also tells honest news to the people. Okay, Lynn, of the I British wouldn't country. normally ask a guest how old they are, but do you mind me asking what sort of age range you are? In my 30s. Right because the, there is an issue, isn't there, with people, younger people, and I would include you there, mm -hmm. uh, who feel like the BBC may not be where they would go first mm -hmm. for their broadcast, you know, whether mm -hmm. that's entertainment, news, whatever mm -hmm. else. And, of course, that's significant, because, as you say, they feel forced to pay mm -hmm. the licence fee. And, John, that, that's an issue for funding, because <laughs> do you know the BBC <laughs> is trying to engage more younger people so mm -hmm. that that willingness to pay the licence fee continues. I'm not one of those who would necessarily say, you know, 
because I'm a young person, I don't necessarily watch as much TV. I shouldn't have to pay for it. I don't think society works like that. I think, again, going back to council tax... I think a lot of people feel that. Yeah, I wouldn't agree, though, because if we look at paying council tax and we support our schools, then people could say, but I never want children. Or, you know, <laughs> I'm over 75 and I've never had a child. Why should I have to pay? And then mm. we get in really murky water with that. So I don't agree with that. Mm. And I agree, actually, with everything that you're saying, John. But you haven't answered the question. Should people have to face prosecution if they choose not to want to pay? That but, is the main question. Oh, but, listen, if you don't pay your taxes, you go to prison. Or if you try and cheat the taxman, you go to prison. Well, one of my friends actually used to work for Panorama and he uh, went to prison for cheating his taxes. So, so <laughs> those... Uh, so those I'm are not that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... Um, however, what I'm saying is Let's the have, BBC yeah, is a good more thing... Than one friend. And, 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 and if you... If you, if you um, kill the way it's funded, um, then, then we will be a poorer country and a less united country okay. than we are today. And I'm sorry I sound like an old fart, but that is what I think. And on that <laughs> bombshell, <laughs> we'll, we'll bring the curtain down.